All right, Shalom, Yashorala. Peace, Israel. First off, I would like to give all praises on the glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Makar, Kadash, the bondage to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule well, who has taught us this truth. A peace and salutation to the hopeful elect out there laboring truth and sincerity in the four corners of the earth, understanding and the banner of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Makar, Kadash. Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, who people ignorantly call God. Yahweh Shai being the name of our Lord and Savior, the only begotten Son of the Heavenly Father. Uh, who people ignorantly call Jesus Christ. All right, Bahashim is in the name. Raka Kodash is the Holy Spirit. All right? And all that was said in the Lashwan Kodash, which is the Holy Tongue, which is the Paleo Hebrew, the ancient Hebrew. All right, and this is the brother Karab here from the GMS Boston camp. And you know, just want to touch on the lesson, go into a quick lesson, and Lord's will that this lesson be edifying. All right, and um, you know, uh, the, just this lesson is going to be based off of holding fast to that which we have. All right. Knowing the times that we're in, it's, it's, uh, with the with the prophecies, you know, uh, running rampant. There's coronavirus all over the place, you know. And this being uh, the year 2020, the year of prophecy deemed by Apostle Elder Tahar, you know, Elder Apostle Tahar, you know. So we know that there's going to be more prophecies coming. You see more and more about uh, talks about the RFID microchip, you know, uh, talking about making it a cashless society. And then, you know what I'm saying? Uh, because of the coronavirus, and it's easily going to be spread by, by way of, uh, of of money, you know? And, and now you you possibly hearing about uh, coronavirus being in the city that you're in, you know? So now it's like, as we see these things taking place, what are we to do, you know? Just hold fast to what we have. Hold fast to the prophecies. Hold fast to the words. And, you know, he said, this is the patience and the faith of the saints, all right? Because the reward is coming, but all we have to do is just hold fast, all right? So I'm gonna start off with this um this pre precept. This is Proverbs four. I'm start at verse ten. It says, "Hear, O my son, and receive my sayings, and the years of thy life shall be many. I have taught thee in the way of wisdom; I have led thee in the right path. When thou goest, thy sh thy steps shall not be straightened." All right, and that word "straightened" goes into uh, difficult. All right, you know what? Let me just look into it real quick. Oh, Salak so is it's I ain't. I ain't got no uh, Wi-Fi, so it's a lucky about that. All right, and it says, um, we'll go read back again. It says, verse verse twelve: When thou goest, thy steps shall be straightened, and when thou runnest, thou shalt th thou shalt not stumble. Take fast hold of instruction; let her not go. Keep her, for she is thy life. And what is that? When you say she, who is she? It's talking about wisdom. It's talking about the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, he's telling us to take hold fast of instruction, take hold fast of wisdom, because that is what's gonna uh, 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 sustain us in these times. Isaiah thirty three and six says that knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy time and the strength of salvation. All right, and the fear of the Lord is his treasure. All right, and he also says that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge. All right, so when you take when you take hold of wisdom and take hold to the instruction that is given to us. By way of your how about Shem Yahweh Shai, all right? Guess what? You know you're not gonna fail. That's what it says. The steps He's gonna lead you. I'm gonna read it again, and it says our uh, verse, um, verse eleven. It said, "I have taught thee in the way of wisdom. I have led thee in the right paths." So right now, right now, Akim, we we're we're on the right path, all right, and we're heading on the right path. The scripture talks about that 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 narrow uh, uh, narrow is the way. Narrow and straight is the way uh, that, leave into, uh, that leadeth into everlasting life, roughly paraphrasing. But wide and broad is the way that leadeth into destruction, all right? But the, uh, the Lord, the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushat, granted us an opportunity to be in this race, to, be, to, 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 to go down that narrow path, which not a lot of people is going to take, which the world is not going, uh, able to see, all right? Hence why, that's why you see all these calamities coming upon the earth, the calamities coming upon the world, you know? People are now starting to get shaken up. But guess what? The men of the Lord aren't going to be shaken up. Why? Because we're holding fast to something that is beautiful and something that is uh, 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 our strength of salvation. And, uh, and, and it also says the fear of the Lord is his treasure. All right? Because we fear the Lord. All right? And um, you can also tell by that, uh, that person's work. All right? The action of that person. All right? So continuing on, this is um, take, uh, verse 13. Take fast hold of instruction. Let her not go. Keep her for she is thy life. Enter not into the path of the wicked And go not in the way of evil men Avoid it, pass not by it Turn from it, and pass away 
For they sleep not except they have done mischief. And they sleep and, and, and their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fall. For they eat of the bread of wickedness and drink of the wine of violence. But the path of the just is as a shining light that, that shineth more and more unto that perfect day. All right. Showing you, you know, the Lord talks about uh, his men being that, that light. Let your light shine before men. All right. So, so when you, when you, when you're, when you're following and, uh, you know, cleaving unto the ways of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by, by, you know, uh, keeping the commandments to the best of your ability, uh, occup being occupied in prophecy, you know, doing His work, you know, fearing the Lord, you know, uh, uh, meditating upon the Scripture, having holy, holy conversation, you know, as you see, the Lord, the Lord, the, the, the Lord is uh, making you that light, all right. And, and guess what? Once again, I mentioned it before. You know, I mentioned earlier, it's talking about uh, you're going to know that person uh, by their works. You're going to know the works of that person. Uh, uh, you're going to know the faith of that person by their works, as the scriptures say. All right. So that's what it says, man, until that perfect day. And what is the perfect day? The perfect day is when the Lord comes and he delivers us out of this hellhole, which is called Babylon. All right. And he brings forth the kingdom. All right. So this is this is this is this is this is the uh, this is what we're working for. This is why we need to hold on. All right. So I'm going to the next precept. All right, and it's going to be 2 Timothy. 2 Timothy, uh, I think it's Salaki, 1 and 13. But I'm going, to go to, I'm going to start at 12. It says, All right, um, I'm going to start at 11. It says, Whereunto I am appointed a preacher and an apostle and a teacher of the Gentiles. All right, this is Paul speaking, all right? This is Apostle Paul speaking. It says, for, for the which cause I also suffer these things. Nevertheless, I am not ashamed. For I know whom I believe. I so like, whom I have believed. And am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. Hold fast the form of sound word which thou hast heard of me in faith and love which is in Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. All right. So he says to hold fast to the sound words. All right. Hold fast to the sound words. All right. And then love. And he says, uh, which thou hast heard of me in faith and love, which is in Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. All right. The scripture talks about, uh, 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 you know, having a solid foundation. Your solid foundation is talking about building your house upon that rock. All right. You build your house upon that rock. You're not, you're, you're going to be counted as a wise man as the scripture goes into. All right, so let me try to get that real quick. This is um, house uh, upon. Let me see real quick. Here we go. Once again, you holding fast to the, uh, the words, right? And it says um, Matthew seven and twenty four says, therefore, whosoever heareth these the heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. Uh, all right, and it says, and the rain, the rain descended, and the flood came, and the wind blew and beat upon the house, and and it fell not, and it was for it was founded upon a rock. And what is that rock? Who is that rock? That rock being our Lord Yahweh Shai. All right, this is uh, Yahweh Bar Shem All right, that's the solid foundation. That's how we are able to stand firm and stand sturdy in this truth. All right, and holding fast by what he said. He said, therefore, whoso heareth these sins of mine and doeth them. So in order for you to hear, you have to receive it. And then you have to do it, which shows your works also. It says, I will liken him, liken him unto a wise man which builds his house upon a rock. All right? But what happens to those that, 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 that deny this word or uh, let go of the thing that they had that was, which, that was beautiful, which is this truth? Guess what? It's going to go into it. It says, and everyone that heareth these sins of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. And the rain descended, and the flood came, and the wind blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell. A great and great was the fall of it. All right. So it says that 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 man that built his house upon sin had a weak foundation. All right. It talks about uh, warning to them that uh, that are faint-hearted. You know. Uh, you know. Talking about uh, those that 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 can't endure, and that's why we gotta pray to Yahweh Bashimel Shah for endurance, for the strength to keep us going. Scripture says, I can do all things through Yahweh Shai Hamashiach who strengthens me. So by way of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is how we're going to get our strength and our endurance to deal with whatever. That's why you're going to be building your house upon that, that, that rock. But 
primarily is because you're holding fast to these things that are st- that are mentioned in the scriptures. All right. So going back to um. Once again, going back to Salakia, First Timothy one. And um. Salakia is it Salakia? Second Timothy. One. One and thirteen it says, Hold fast the form of sound words which thou hast heard of me in faith and love which is in Yahweh Shahamashiach. That good thing which was committed unto thee, keep by the Holy Spirit which dwelleth in us. Alright. Once again, that word keep. You know, that's another key word. We have to keep it. Alright. We're going into the next precept. Alright. Go to Revelation 2 and 25. And it says, and it reads, But that which ye already have, hold fast till I come. All right? That which you already have. And what do you have? You have these words. Once again, you have this truth. You have the faith in Yahweh Bashim al Scripture says, Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee. You know, let me grab that real quick. Uh, Salaki, let me grab it real quick. Because... You're going to have naysayers. You're going to have people, even with the prophecies coming, even with the prophecies uh, hitting, you're going to still have these people still doubting and still trying to throw you off your game. All right? And it says, um, I'm just uh start at the top. Second Ezra 15 and 1. It says, Behold, speak down in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, said the Lord. So now this is something that is given to us, that is uh, granted, that is uh uh, given to us by uh, by the Lord, the words of prophecy. It says um, the testimony of Yahweh Shai, the spirit of prophecy. All right, verse two it says, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. So now you know the words of Yahweh Shai, faithful and true. All right, fear not the imagination against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. So don't let these people get you off your game. Don't let these people uh, take away your faith. All right. Why is that? Because this is what's going to happen. It says, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. So th- that person that, 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 that built his house upon the sand, that had this, this word and they gave it up and they lost patience, guess what? He became unfaithful. And guess what happened? He said, all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. What happened to those in the world? Two thirds of our people. Guess what? They're unfaithful. They don't have the truth. They don't, wanna, they don't even acknowledge the truth. They don't even want to hear the truth. So guess what? They're unfaithful. You know, and, 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 to Yahweh Bashim El Shah. And guess what? That means that they're going to die in their unfaithfulness. All right? So going back to Salaki, going back to Revelation 2 and 25, it says, But that which ye already have, Salaki, that and that, but that which ye have already hold fast till I come. And he that overcometh and keepeth my words unto the works unto the end, to him I will give power over the nations. And isn't that not what we're fighting for? Isn't that what we're not uh, in this uh, 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 fighting this good fight of faith to receive salvation, to receive mercy from Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, also to be in the kingdom, and also the primarily Lord's will to be a part of the elect, you know, the governing body, or the or one third to be on the, the first go around to enjoy the kingdom of heaven, you know, and, and rule over these other nations. Isn't that not what we were fighting for? True power to to, to gain back our inheritance. To gain back the position that we once had before. To enjoy peace at what it's supposed to be. The scripture talks about that. That heaven and earth that dwell of righteousness. Are, are, this, is what we, this is what we're working on. This is what we're fighting for. Alright. Then it says. And he shall rule. Verse 27. And he shall rule them with a, a rod of iron. As a vessel of a potter. They shall be broken into shivers. Even as I receive of my father. Alright. And what the Lord, what, what the Heavenly Father says, sit thou at my right hand till I make the enemy thy footstool. All right. Hence, not the Lord said that we're going to be joint ears with him. So is, is that not a, a great reason to hold fast? All right. And this is, um, let me go to our next precept Hebrews 10. Hebrews 10 and 23. And it says, let us hold fast. As you see, uh, the, the, these precepts is going based off of holding fast, all right? Holding fast, cleaving on to what you have. Holding on tight to this uh, this truth. Holding on tight to this faith of ours, all right? And it says, um, Hebrews 10 and 23, it says, Let us hold fast 
fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for he is faithful that that he is faithful that promise. All right, this says the scripture says the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness. All right, scripture say he are, he is faithful and true. All right, his words will not go out void. All right, this is the things that he mentioned and he will do. All right. So he says, let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering. And wavering means being tossed to and fro with uh, having doubt. You know, this is this is this is what it consists of. All right. So lock in. Give me one second. All right. Um, and it says on uh, verse 24, it says, and let us and let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works, not forsaking the assembling, the assembling of our of ourselves together, as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another, and so much the more as ye see the day approaching. All right, and now we see the day approaching even more. All right, by way of uh, 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 um, these prophecies coming to pass. All right, by these prophecies coming to pass. All right, and I got this last precept. I'm just ending off on here. And this is Revelation uh, 3 and 11. It says, Behold, I come quickly. Hold that hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. All right? So, hey, don't let nobody take your crown, man. Keep pushing. Keep fighting. You know, Lord's will, uh, you know, we may be able to be, uh, be receive mercy from Yahweh Hashem El Shah and get up out of here, you know? Because the days is coming, all right? So with that, I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh Hashem El Shah, Hashem El Kadash, the honest apostles, the elders of the great millstone, who rule well. And shall, uh, a citation to the whole elect with that say, Shalom.